Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 9228 Southwest Line Drive here in Cornelius. We're located inside the crawl space. You got a four inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. And here at 22 feet, we have reached the terminus for the line. It did transition partway out there to schedule 3034 PVC pipe. We're going to let the line drain out here for a couple minutes before pulling back. Okay, I tried to locate the camera head. Uh, I'm, I'm able to pick up the signal, but I'm not able to get right on top of this spot here. The line kind of heads towards the rear of the property, and where I'm picking up the signal coming from currently is right about where the fence line is, the rear fence line. And it looks like it's going into a bunch of, it's like a grape, grape bush or some kind of berry bush back there. So, anyway, the line's been drained out now for at least three to five minutes, so it's totally drained. I'm going to have to reel the camera back here and try and locate the beginning of the belly. I'm not right, able to get right on top of that spot there. And the standing water here, with the water all drained out, it's still, it's about an inch and a half or so of standing water, which is fairly significant. Especially with septic. Septics tend to be more temperamental when it comes to, especially certain things going down the line, like paper towels, feminine hygiene products, flushable wipes, baby wipes, stuff like that. Uh, those items should never go down any sewer line, but uh, when they get put down septic, septics, for one, don't handle those items at all. Uh, but when you have a belly like this, uh, you get standing water on top of a, a tank that won't handle the debris, and that stuff just has nowhere to go. Or if in a main lateral out in the street, if that debris is able to make it to that point, it then flushes its way out in the main. In this situation, it just gets stuck. So I would recommend a repair here to correct the belly. It's extending here from 17 feet out to 22 feet. And I do my best to locate this spot right here. I'll mark with a white X and try and put an arrow the direction the line is running. You do, make, make sure you watch the video before doing the repair to get an idea of where that line's headed. All right, located here, this is just adjacent to the concrete pad that's at the, uh, it's the side of the house where the, the main entrance is, so I essentially, that would be the front. Um, it's the the front of the house though, or the part that faces the street is is kind of the side. The house is just turned that way. But anyway, lines right out of that concrete pad there at the front of the home. Again, the side that the main entrance is on, and then it hangs a right immediately at that marking and heads towards the the fence line. So from this point out to the tank connection, I recommend correcting the belly in the line. Again, there's about an inch and a half or more of standing water. Could be as much as two inches. Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a pretty significant amount of standing water. That amount is where I generally it's it's around three quarters to one inch where I usually start seeing debris collect in lines. So when you're approaching two inches there, it's very very likely for debris to get hung up, especially when stuff that shouldn't go down the line accidentally gets put down there. Like if someone accidentally puts a flushes a paper towel or something like that down the line. Uh, bellies are especially unforgiving to those items, but uh, they will they will cause toilet paper and anything else intended for the line to hang up as well. So I'd recommend getting that corrected. Uh, and after any repair work, I do recommend a rescope to ensure it was done properly. Uh, I was picking the camera head up there quite deep. It was uh, it was saying around six feet deep. Uh, it's down there quite a ways. And I have that, uh, again, the beginning of the belly is marked with a white X.
Uh, apart from that belly, though, the rest of the line is in good shape. Uh, all the pipe itself is intact. The line is functioning, uh, but not properly, and uh, because of that belly, it's at a high risk. So if you're very, very careful to the line or and easy on it, um, the line... Uh, will likely function, but even again, even with regular, uh, the stuff, regular kind of toilet paper items that should go down the line, uh, bellies like that can still cause that kind of stuff to, to build up and block the line as well. So, how do we get it corrected to make sure that doesn't happen?